Hello anyone who may, yeah, who may be watching now or, or later, Helen here along with... Lucky. Hello! <laughs> and and hey Rom! I really should change <laughs> my set- I, I really should change my stream- uh, desk, you know, My stream remote settings if even possible to- <laughs> To not block uh, people joined now is this, but... <laughs> unexpected uh, second co-commentator is always welcome! <laughs> Hello! I'm Rom! 
and yeah on something sunday we try or well we on it is uh, it is monday but i couldn't stream yesterday due to scheduling error so yeah we're doing something sunday on monday and during something sunday we try or we <clears throat> we try or show up to four games for a half an hour each about if if a game just sucks we just drop it and sometimes we may give one or two 15 minutes extra but yeah today we're starting with slay the spire so 30 meters is starting i have heard a decent so then, amount oh, about this game hmm? so here's a quick question yeah. why are we slaying the spire <laughs> Uh, I think it's supposed to be that you're fighting your way up the spire through everything. And yeah, this is a card based system. And okay, characters. The Ironclad. 80 HP starts with 99 gold. The remaining soldier of the Ironclad sold his soul to harness demonic energies. Burning blood at the end of combat heals 6 HP. Okay, healing is all in, you know, always yeah, good. I almost used dodge there. But yeah, this is one of those uh, turn-based card battle systems. And I have heard quite a few th uh, good things about this. Yeah. Though I'm, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of all of this type of gameplay. Might have been because I've just had all of absolute shit versions of it in the previous. And yeah, also, we get the thing about the Doom... About the Doom but 1930s thing. It's not only Doom, but everybody has gloves. It's Doom, but also it's the 1930s. So it looks even sillier. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about a picture that was shared on a server earlier on which I commented. It's basically yeah, it's it's the bleh, it's the cover of Doom, drawn as if it was yeah in this drawn yeah. It was the cover of Doom. As if it was made in the 1930s, so basically everything has white gloves. <laughs> and looks cartoony as all hell. Anyways, let's have a look. I'm guessing that's what a shrub or something. Why have I not realized that? Let's have a look. I'll take this wrong path, because it seems to have the most random stuff. Could get the most interesting. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play once you are out and your turn. At the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. Okay. Play a defensive card to gain block when enemies are about to attack you. Block reduces incoming attack damage, but wears off at the start of your next turn. So you can't just constantly stack that. Though I think in these games typically you can get modifiers uh, that... One of which is typically that the defensive points stay, but we'll have to see how complicated this might get. Or complex. Com complex is typically the better version. Complicated is where things just get too much that things start getting muddied. During yeah. your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent above them. If an enemy is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain in some block. Okay. Let's see. Bunch of defend cards. Strategic. It tends to inflict a negative effect. Okay. We don't have anything that could block that, so we'll just have to kill one of these things. Or try to. And... Yeah. I very much doubt that that will help, but let's see. Weakened and frail. That... Yeah, 25% less block. 25% less damage. Okay. Six damage, two vulnerable. It's like 15. Okay, that, that's a good one to start with. Uh, he's going to attack for three. We can kill it with one of our strikes. Shank it! <laughs> and we have. We don't have any block cards. So Shank it slime! Really? Let's go for the most damage, but we'll, we'll heal six damage anyway. Back anyways, slimed exhaust. What was that? No more cards. If there are no more cards to draw, your discard pile is shoveled into the draw pile. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I'm seeing some of. If it. No wait. Our last hard hand got discarded as well. Hmm. 
removed until end of combat. What does this do? Does it I jumps. think it's supposed to put Just a status ailment on an enemy. No, let, no we, we can only cast it on ourselves. So, okay, that's just... It got added to our deck to muck up what we had. And yeah, this will just, you know, discard what we have anyways. So there's no point in trying to save those up. Especially since that doesn't deal damage. Wait, it leaks the... It leaks you so you turn frail. So weren't we supposed to be healing after any turn or something? I think it's heal after every battle. Yeah, okay. that also makes sense. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be a bit overpowered. There we go. Yeah. yeah you there, do see? have potion up in the next to the ninety-nine thing, but I'm sure those are empty. Let's see, add two wounds into your hand, gain fifteen block. That's quite powerful. Eight block and draw a card. Uh, let's go with that. For some survivability, and we are okay. I thought it was a, a choice of one or the other. What is this? You dug into a small hut. Inside you find what appears to be a forge. The smithing tools are covered with dust, yet a fire roars inside the furnace. You feel an edge. Let's see. Obtain a, a special relic. Warp tongues. At the end of your turn, upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of ba the battle. The rest of combat. My okay. rug! But... As the turn... While in hand, you lose one HP whenever you play another card. Okay, that... Hmm. So we either... That could... It is only one HP, but if that catches us at the wrong time... You're so let's... Yeah, let's get, re... let's get a big, bit reckless with this, since we're trying it out and all. Relics found throughout the spire grant unique bonuses and remain throughout your run. They can be found by defeating powerful foes or within chests. Two uh, seconds. Decide... Two seconds. Uh, sure. you, you decide to see if you can find anything of use. After uncovering turbs, looking through boxes and checking nooks and crannies, you find a dust-covered relic. Taking the relic, you can't shake a sudden feeling of sharp pain as you exit the hut. Maybe you disturbed some sort of spirit. Okay. Still just a linear pet and uh, a cultist. If uh, yeah, you'd have to be a cultist to look that stupid, <laughs> or willingly look that stupid. Let's see. It, he's going to buff. Okay, we would. Yeah, we can end the turn without hurting ourselves. And now he's going to attack for six damage. We got rid of the curse card so we can put up some block. Oh, we could have used this one. <laughs> okay, that was a mistake. I should have read I should have looked through my entire hand. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get it back into our hands soon enough. And then we cut at it. And turn. There we go. A single bit of damage. Oh, oh, that that is what a bad. This, this means that every turn is going to get three more damage. Yeah. Okay, we do oh. that, and we end turn. We do get rid of most of our defense cards there. Yeah, now it's twelve. De these, yeah, these are ones you need to stop quickly, I'm guessing, then. And either 6 damage, or 9 damage, or 5... Yeah, let, let's block. And that's all we can do. I'll still take 7 damage. Um, yeah, Maybe they, they... you... Oh. Maybe you should have the mock this clothing. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, let's see. Eight for one damage. Yeah, we're, we're, we need to be aggressive now. So if this thing just keeps... Uh, <laughs> if this guy just keeps steamrolling up, we're going to die to it. Yep. 
Okay. Do that. And that. There we go. Still lost a decent amount of health there. My powers were matched. <laughs> okay, I, I like that they're lying. <laughs> this card applies a power to you when used. Powers of passive abilities that remain for the duration of the combat. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card. Okay. 5 for 5. 9 damage. Let's go with that one. Okay. And then we have an enemy again. Okay, some sort of worms. And they're both enemy going worms. to attack. Let's see. I think it says they say the name if you hold your arrow over them. Uh, yeah, it said Laos. It said Laos and Laos. It's just two different. Uh, okay. I did not expect them to be called Laos. Oh, wait, La. Under Okay, on receiving damage, roll up, up and gain 7 block. Okay. You're still going Wait, to hold attack. On. Hold on, if those are lies... I don't have to imagine what they infest. Okay, that doesn't stop them from attacking. Let's see. One is going to buff, one is going to debuff. We can for certain kill one of them. So let's do that. We do not want these things buffing themselves. Can we get another... No, we <laughs> we get the curse card, of course. No need to block... No, no need to gain block. Okay, 25% less damage. But... Hmm. Okay. I know, I know caterpillars can do, do cocoons out, but lies? I never hear the louse do, do whim. Hmm. Can't say uh, if I know they do either, but for now, kill that thing. Fire potion. Okay, that's a consumable. Uh, drink or throw potions during combat. Potions stay with you between rooms. And the card, Ghostly Armor, Ethereal. If this card is in your hand at the end of turn, it is exhausted. Exhausted cards are removed from your deck until the end of combat. Okay, so basically use it or lose it. Oh, that is a lot. Mm, let's, let's get that one. And a bit of gold. Yeah, it, so far it is curious, and now, okay. Mad Gremlin. It's not attacking. Gremlin Wizard, Sneaky Gremlin, and Fat Gremlin. <laughs> Let's see, though. They, they are throwing out a lot of damage. Oh, I might miss that the pain card is here. Still, we want to block as much as that as possible. And then we'll... Yeah. Let's thin the herds. He's actually also the one dealing the most damage, anyways. Okay, we've got defend. They are attacking again. And we can take out this one. That That's more than half the damage that we'd be taking. Yep, I, I should have done this one. Yeah, it's as Why clear you... as is clear. I'm probably not the best with card games. Welcome back, Rom. I'm back. Also, that question: Why does Swedo look like a cat with a stick? Uh. Yeah, it's holding it above its head for some dumb reason. It's oh, okay. that, that is a lot. Uh, Anyways, yeah. uh, I needed to make a phone call because I need to go and buy string, a guitar string. Because okay. my brother's guitar string is broken and we're in like the last month of the fucking year. Oh. Oh dear. I, I hope uh, there won't be too many people for you when you're mm -hmm. getting that. 
Yeah, so random not. wizards build up for a big strike. And we've got the freaking pain card again. Do we need to get some defense? Uh, yeah, let's just kill it. We we should probably should have killed it <laughs> a lot earlier. Uh, yeah, a lesson learned is a lesson gained. Okay. Often these games can be either very, yeah, very easy that they get boring, or but or just really hard. This one seems fair to me so far. Yeah, I think Let's this see. one uh, got very popular due to being uh, very just. It is hard, but it's fair. Like it doesn't uh, pull out too many bullshits on you. Oh, okay, that's something I missed. That vulnerable is it's vulnerable stays across multiple turns. That I missed earlier. We're already past half health. We will regain Ooh. health after oh my this. God. Let's see. Yeah, if you do overcome first, you should probably be, be able to do stronger follow up than. Uh, yeah, it, it, it. The vulnerable stays for a few turns. Yeah, I just thought you might have been able to kill it right there now. Probably. But, but we can also oh. do that now. There we go. Have you overkilled it? Uh, choose an attack or copy car, uh, power card, add a copy of that into your... Okay, two strengths. Additional additional damage, to, okay. Five damage twice, that's ten damage. That's the most single one so far, without an upgrade. Let's go with that one. And it said so. <laughs> it gave a tip there. The merchant doesn't give... Oh, hello. The merchant doesn't give refunds, he's a jerk. <laughs> No refunds! Oh, not there! What's with people you made jump scaring me? It's... Then Apparently, have... you're just that easy to jump scare. No. I think it's only true online I seem to be easy to jump scare. In real life, it's actually hard. So I feel like I'm the one accidentally jump scaring people just because I walk quietly. Yeah, people just Maybe this around. is karma for that? Yeah. Wait, what? Maybe that's karma for that? Possibly, but I don't do it intentionally. People say I suddenly appear. And I'm being compared to appearing like Jesus, apparently. Especially when I have my hairband on. I probably could have just... I could have used that to take this one out completely, so I didn't, wouldn't have to block, so I could use that extra... Yeah. <laughs> I really need to look through things and plan them out more because now yeah. we are getting weakened, anyways. Yeah, do, remember. So do you ever just show up at a place and scream, I'm Jesus? Oh, no. Never. I would never do that. I actually started to feel annoyed when people compare me to Jesus, and, well, I, I worship Odin and Thor in them, so it feels a little bit awkward when I be compared to Jesus. Oh, right. It, it rolled up, so it got defense up. Uh, okay, yeah. That yeah, was a bad, <laughs> bad move because I forgot about their freaking buff. And two more turns of being weakened and just a big ass stab. And now we've got freaking pain again. Let's see. Oh god, the pain. Shrug it off. Okay, it is going to buff itself again. Probably make itself even stronger. Yeah, I should have taken out this one here. The red and yellow ones should be a priority in the future. Because they buff themselves up a lot. And... Finish that one off with this. And block. It is usual that our, our, that our cards get buffed a lot. So I, I guess it is a good enough trade 
that, that every now and then we self-inflict harm if let's see. I'm guessing that this is only for one turn or maybe it's permanent we, we... You're just saying you can kill it but you used another skill yeah we'll see if this stays or not now yeah at least it's okay a bit it of stays so, so if you, you want... fail one strength stays so we'd want to cut we'd want to use that uh, that card as soon as possible indeed but oh. i was going to say it is a rogue light so there's no problem in losing since you do some sort of progress at least and uh, what were you to, to say uh already said it we that's strength is of is an effect that we want to put on our character as soon and as often as possible. So you, you happen upon a group of what looks like purple fire sprites dancing around a large bonfire. The spirits uh, throw small bones and fragments into the fire which brilliantly erupt at each time. As you approach the spirits all turn to you expectantly. Offer a reward, you know, receive a reward based on the offer. O okay, so we sacrifice something. Can we sacrifice the we can sacrifice the curse, so get the hell out. <laughs> However, the spirits aren't happy that you offered a curse. The, uh, the card uh, fizzles um, a meek black stone. You receive something in return. Okay, Congratulations, you pissed off the fucking fairies. <laughs> oh, the spirits are What the... Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at the shop. Okay. I would find so, it yeah. funny if you got that and then immediately got a shop. <laughs> Thievery. Intends to attack for 10. Steals 15 gold whenever it's atta it attacks. We want this one dead as soon as possible. Oh my god! Go. Now we'll do and this is just damage. some random asshole who's just trying to loot the place. And that's all we can do. Uh, I'm not... With these games, also, you... And you just stole your money! Let's see. 12... Well, get that one immediately. 14 damage, and then 8 damage. Or we... Not enough energy. Again, I should plan these things out better. Kill him before he steals all your cash! <laughs> Do we get it back? <laughs> yes, we get it back. Okay, there's... With these types of enemies, they typically have a chance of just running off when you get them low. So, yeah. Exhaust... Mm. Four damage and one vulnerable to all enemies. Okay. Oh, that six damage for zero energy, and another. It gets two cop. It adds another copy to the discard pile. So if you use it once, you get a second one. That that sounds very good, actually. Yeah. We'll lower the chance of us drawing something else. And that was a bad idea because there's an elite enemy, be <laughs> enemy behind there. Yeah. Oh dear. It, it, it would it would eventually just clog up our uh, pile, uh, our deck with anger attacks. Hmm. Okay, nine damage and debuffs. Okay, so these are constructs. See, too vulnerable. Artifact negates one debuff. Okay, that is. It is something to keep an eye out then. There's one. One has two more health for some reason. And inflame, so we get more. Yeah, so we get stronger attacks later on. Dazed. Okay, he's going... To, they're both going to muck up 
our deck with useless cards. Now let's see what this one does then. Yep. Two go in. Let's just try and focus one of these down for now. Still going to hurt. Even more of those cards. Those are... Yeah, they're really going to waste our stuff. Let's see. Nine. Fifteen damage. One week. Can we kill... We can kill one... This one. Let's just outright do that. Then defense. And... Yep, not enough energy again. Yes, I was about to tell you, you have not, don't have enough energy. <laughs> and yet even more of those stupid cards. And now we have a handful of useless cards. Oh, okay, Ooh. oh. <laughs> 10 plus damage. Okay, yeah, if this gets upgraded, that is quite a lot. Now, let's see. Defend as usual. And then... Use that first. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the debuff was negated, but we still dealt quite a bit of damage. At least those cards just vanish instead of just stacking up constantly. But they're doing that enough with their debuff attacks. Okay, first off, screw you. <laughs> and kill you. Bye -bye. Mm, no need for anything else. Not even block? Not because it's debuffing, by like throwing even more of these things into our hands. And yeah, we didn't have any block cards anyway, so we'll have to tank that. Or, or we had some armor from that, but still. And just blow it up. Bottled tornado. Oh. Upon pickup, choose a power card, start each combat with this card in your hand. Okay. So now, now we'll always start with strength in our hand to play. 12 damage, too weak. Let's let's go with a bit of AoE in here. Because we have well we didn't have any the hell. Fungi beast. Oh god, that's on death applies too vulnerable. Okay, immediately that. Scary fact! That is a base on a real thing. However, that kind of fungus usually a infects ants. Yeah. Because that's a rat that's infected. Or infested would be a better term. Yeah. What the heck that? Okay, they're going to buff, so we want one of them dead. Let's see. <laughs> there. It's not a head. Storm there. in a bottle is, sounds kind of terrifying. As of, I don't okay. think I would trust the either of you two with. It got it, gave itself three strengths, but it's dead anyways. Bye bye. Some gold, another card. Clee. Oh, that, that is strong. I'll <laughs> be. Actually, I think I'm leaving. I got lunch. You guys have fun. Yeah, okay. Right. See ya. Have a See ya. Later. Have a good feast. Sleep. Thank you. Later. <laughs> we have no defensive cards, so full on offense then. Let's, let's make it vulnerable. It'll deal less damage this turn, but next turn we could stack up a bunch more. Okay, yeah, that'll sort of cancel each other out. Anger, so immediately strike with that. Going to attack again, so we defend. And we strike. Okay. And strike again. Okay, now, now I'm getting more into it. <laughs> Actually, we, we could end it now by just throwing a fire potion at it. I might as well save it for when it might be really needed. There we go. 
9 damage and 1 card. 8 to all can only be played if every card in your hand is attacked you 14 damage. That is not likely to happen, so let's go with that, because that deals a lot of damage for one. Then we get to a guaranteed resting zone. Insert meme. <laughs> okay, let's see. We could gain Inflame Plus for three strength and strengths. Let's, let's just go straight for this. All right. What do you want to go to with the uppercut one? Yeah, that, that's just... That card makes everything we use stronger. Mode shifts. Oh, and that's the 30 minute mark, so let's finish this off and then we'll move to the next game. Yeah, we can be finishing this off with a boss. <laughs> okay, too vulnerable. And that'll be that. Wait, what is that? Some sort of construct again. All right, the Guardian. All right. Eleven damage or so. Yeah, let's do that. It moves, shifts into a defensive form, and nothing else beyond that. So let's just use that, even though it, all of it got blocked. Okay, it fades away, so it, it doesn't keep all of its eh, sharp hide. Okay, so take, take three damage when you play an attack. It's going to attack us, so let's see. Is it going to be in this temporary? Hmm. Oh, you had enough for one more attack. Yeah, I, I want to try and avoid the, this damaging effect. Ah. Let's see. Oh, two. Uh, yep. There we go. And that has worn off. Okay, so once it takes a certain amount of damage, it'll shift into that mode. Oops. And okay. upon which it'll hurt you if you attack it. Okay, now I see the strategy here. When it's bound up, prepare your defenses, basically. Or more... Yeah, that would be a good description of... Okay, there we go. This will hurt a bit. But I think we can take it, unless there's going to be many more surprises. Let's see, nine more damage before it goes into defense. Let's do that. Okay, and it immediately gains 12 and 20 defense. And we can still, we can break through that. Okay, it's called the Guardian. Sharp hide. If we had something to remove... Oh. If we had something to remove that, it would probably be useful. We're really useful doing this, but... Let's, let's go full out. As long as we can seemingly out-damage it, let's go for it. And yeah, we didn't have anything to defend ourselves anyways. Now we do. It's already vulnerable. Yeah, I might be I might be taking a risk by trying to out DPS it at the moment. It's going to go through that again. Um, yeah, just deny that last little bit of health. Yeah. But still got... I'm, my counting must have been off. Okay. We're, get, we're getting a lot of these now. And it's going to go defensive, so we can just go all out. Here we go. Anything useful that we might get with this? Yes, but no, we can't use it, so it's not useful. You could use the one more shield. Yeah, it wasn't going to attack anyways. 
it stacks. Uh, uh, wait, I don't think it stacks. He doesn't stay. Oh. And there we go. Achievements, the Guardian. Smoke bomb. So the skill costs zero whenever you play a card exhausted. That is the start of your turn gain two strength. That is very that would be very useful. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm not sure if that barricade would stay. Actually, I didn't really look. Let's see. What did what signifies it? Okay, power attack power. Yeah, power stays. We. I should look if. I should have looked if that barricade is a power card or not. Let's see. Could have used that at some point as well. Five dexterity. Oh. Okay, ancient ring things. can be useful when you want to use more skills. Yeah. Okay, open it up. Choose a relic. Tiny house upon pickup, obtain one uh, potion, gain 50 gold, raise your max height P by five, obtain a card, re upgrade one random card. At least drop an additional relic when defeated. Sneko Eye. Start of your turn, draw two additional cards. Start each combat confused. Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. That would be... That would be a high risk, uh, but could also be high rewards. Hmm. Let's go with the safe option. Okay, defend... Colorless potion. Choose one of three random colorless cards to add to your hand. It costs zero this turn. What are colorless cards? <laughs> oh. Let's go with that. And throw that out. Not that uh, you get to see what it does, though. You can drink them and then continue on into through the battles. Yeah, but it the, there wasn't a, the oh. option to drink is grayed out, so. It, oh. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem there. Let's see. Save and quits. Okay, that that could get interesting, but there doesn't really seem to be story going on from so far, at least. I think there is a story just. Yeah, you don't see much through through the gameplay. Yeah. I, it, it, Maybe something for Saturdays. Yeah, possibly. Now, next game. I just think I it's kind of... Kind of like you have the basic story and, yeah, you know, like old Nintendo games where they just told you the story in the manual, basically. It could be. And yeah, second game of today is Sleeping Dogs, the definitive edition. And yeah, I've, I, this is also another game that I've heard quite a bit about, but I just never got to or got around to playing it. So let's immediately jump in here and see what happened. I just never heard of it at all. Square Enix? Okay. Sold好了。我發過去。有關係。咩啊?我知。搞錯,佢帶住咁大把刀嘅。明白。清楚。OK。各單位準備。我睇實佢。He's <笑> only. I'm a fucking blind. Relax, old boy. We're on the same side, remember? <笑> <笑>喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇貨喂有冇
，所有伙计唔好俾佢走甩啊！截截佢！我伤我啊！啊 ！Fucking hell! Don't do it, man! Don't do it! Okay, and we're starting right into it. You see anyone? I think they have to move. Crazy fuck! Shit! Just before we okay. So it's to run and to walk. Okay, then it does pop up. Uh, yeah, that went. Uh, <laughs> this is going to shit really fast. Okay, does, he also, does he also do that if I just hold it? Somewhat, I'm guessing. No, just go straight over the freaking muscles. <laughs> okay, and that goes straight into knocking someone out for if they're in the way. Knock him out with the groin. Yeah, I thought it might have gone somewhere more, but no. Nope. Get off, get off! Fuck! Uh, probably best if I just leave the camera on for the moment. Until they fully. Uh, Prosperity, man. Oh shit, Jackie Ma. Nanaya, it is you. I can't fucking believe it. What are you doing here? When did you get back? Well, wait, man, you look like shit. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> you know, 15 years to do that. You know, we're not kids anymore. Whatever, man. Ask anyone. Jackie Ma still looks good. Jackie Ma is still the same old, but good to see you. So what the fuck? They finally deport your ass from the United States? It was mutual. Time I came home anyway. Yeah, lock up. Home sweet home. So what'd they get you on? Nothing that'll stick. Ha! <laughs> well, don't let them pin any extra shit on you. Fuckers will try, let me tell you. Once they hear you're from old prosperity, happens all the time. Hey, so you still in touch with any of the guys from there? A few, you know. People kind of go their separate ways, but... You remember Winston? He's moved all the way up to Red Pole in the sun on ye. Got a couple of things going with him right now, matter of fact. Huh. Red Pole and the Sun on Yi. Shit, Dog Eyes always said he'd be running that neighborhood. Oh, Dog Eyes is a Red Pole, too. And still a total poke guy. He was the one who got Winston in. They were pretty tight back then, but now... Hey, wasn't Dog Eyes hanging with your sister? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Hey, remember when we were kids and you stabbed Dog Eyes with a pen? You totally saved my ass that day. Oh, man, I gotta tell Winston that story. He'll fucking love it. Man, way fucking Shen in the flesh. I can't believe it. Jackie Ma! Looks like I'm out of here. Hey, Jackie. So look, if you and uh, Winston ever need help with any of that shit you got going on with him. Of course, man. Look me up when you get out. It'll just be like old times. Okay. It seems that the evidence against you has failed to appear. How do you explain that? 
You must be a very dangerous man, Wei Shen. That is exactly what we want people to think. I trust that my men weren't too rough on you, officer. You might ask them the same question, sir. Those guys are out of shape. It paid off, though. I made contact with Jackie Ma. I'm in. Good work. Use him to get close to Winston Chu. Do whatever it takes. Raymond here will be your handler. You'll report everything through him. Our intel suggests that Winston is looking for muscle. You need to find a way to make him trust you. I've done this before. Not in Hong Kong. American gangs, even Asian ones, don't compare to the triads here. The Sun on Yi is the most powerful Look, gang. Raymond. Your, your name is Raymond, right? Yes. I grew up with these guys. I know who they are, what they are. All the intel reports in the world won't give you that. We want the Red Poles, the lieutenants like Winston, all of them. And most of all, the Dragon Head. Candidly, Wei, previous attempts to get close to him haven't panned out. We don't have much to go on. That's why you're here. I'm hoping that you can bring something more to our investigation. I understand, sir. Look, the sooner I'm on the street, the sooner I can start. Raymond will be in touch. Owen Way, good luck out there. Respectfully, sir, are you sure about him? He'll be under extreme stress maybe for a very long time. Now, I'm not sure he has the discipline to hold up. According to the file, he has a history of, of extreme behavior. Yes, and an astonishing number of convictions. He obviously blames the trials for what happened to his family. It could turn into a vendetta. Raymond, Wei Shen is perfect for this job. Man, this is going to be great. Yeah, thanks again, Jackie. I appreciate the intro. No problem, man. By the way, you know I tried looking you up a few years back, but I couldn't find shit. Do they have internet in America? <laughs> I think they're getting it next year. I guess you were in prison or something. Come on, let's get out of here. Still getting used to being back, huh? Yeah. Okay, one thing I can immediately sort of notice that are looking between my screen and what's showing on OBS, uh, there's a bit of a color difference, let's say it. Uh, let's just say that on my, what I'm seeing on my screen is looking a lot more rosy on the skin department. So, yeah, I have no idea why that might be for some freaking reason. But uh, yeah, we're an undercover cop. And the... Okay, going to need to drop the graphics. Okay, that... Let's see. Resolution, yeah, full screen off, no on that. Let's drop that to medium. Save it at that. That going to help 60 FPS. Is that going to stay? That is going to stay. Okay, yeah, for some reason there seems to be a bit of a yellow tint. Uh, only a slight one, so at the moment. So Woodson's a red pull now? All this territory is wasted. Hands. The dog guys is pushing in. If they're both red poles, shouldn't they be on the same side? Should be. Dog guys always was an asshole. Turns out he's a greedy asshole too. One thing, when we get to Winston's, let me do the introductions. They're really distrustful of new faces right now. It's wild paranoia. <laughs> Sun on Yi had a rat. From what I hear, they didn't let him have a quick death. They made it real slow and painful. Hmm. I'll have to look into what might be causing that. It, maybe it is because I have these lights shining in my eyes as well that make everything seem lighter. So what? <laughs> You may. How are you, baby? Jackie, you know my parents don't want you to talk to me. Your parents don't even know me. Once we get to know each other, they'll love me. And here we're getting our bad face. 
Uh, okay, that's a lot more... Yeah, a lot more brawler than uh, your typical GTA, huh? Okay, hold for <laughs> kick, okay. Okay, four light strikes and finish with a heavy. One, one, two, one, two. Okay, that's, that's his switching target attack. And round host the fucker across the face. Okay. Oh. Sit down, boy. You kidding me? Yeah, all right. Come the fuck on. Okay. Yep. Grab. Strike. Good space to throw. Okay. <laughs> Grappling hole. Oh. <laughs> okay. Come oh. on. Okay, they are being done by just letting us beat on them mostly. But yeah, this is the tutorial. Okay. Okay, shoot, shoot, here comes the pain train. <laughs> I'm still here. Uh, and he gets up. Okay. Oh, come. Oh, oh you're the boss man, huh? Oh, environment grapple. What is highlighted? Oh, oh, that is highlighted. Okay. Uh, that look nasty. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Bunch of fucking assholes. So, everything's cool? Well, you're welcome anyway. Come on, Jackie. Let's go see Winston. Here we are. Winston's mom owns the restaurant. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Relax, man. This is Wei. Wei Shen. I told you about him, remember? Fuck. We can't keep track of your bullshit friends, Jackie. No outsider. He's not an outsider. He's from old prosperity. Like us. Ho Chi all day. Jama. Wei's old school, you know? I grew up with the guy. Old prosperity, huh? I've been on vacation. You know, Jackie said you were looking for people. Oh, Jackie, fuck, yeah? No, 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 no. You should have seen it, Winston. We just beat up like 10 of Dog Eyes guys in the market by himself. Hi, man. Well, they attacked us. Seems to me you could use some better help. Winston, I don't like this cocky little fucker. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Dang Yatsung, I do remember you. You had a, a sister, right, Hamaya? Yeah, Mimi. Mimi, Mimi Shen. I remember her. Hung out with dog guys. <laughs> no offense. Dang I suck to Where is she now? She's dead. Ah. Sorry. Oh, you see her. So, ten guys, huh? You feel us? I just crazy. Try capable. Uh -huh. We'll see. Conroy, you know that problem we got in the market? Why don't you take way with you? Hey, Jackie, hang back a second. I want to hear more about your friend. <laughs> All right. You want to be a tough guy? Let's see if you can handle yourself. <laughs> Dude, see what he's got. Great. That's all I fucking need. <laughs> so you're the tough guy that everyone's talking about. Um, oh. You like that? Okay. 
Pretty good combat system so from what I'm seeing so far. <laughs> you think you're hot shit, huh? Let's see what happens when shit gets real. Uh, you got? Are we going to Are they going to attack at both at the same time and getting their asses kicked? <laughs> Come on. Fight Ow. And seems to be somewhat directional as well. Okay. Similar Wait. to Arkham Asylum. Yeah. It's also something that I actually can do. Like, excuse me, sometimes some people you know, out try to kick me, usually playfully or surprise me with a kick. I you just capture the instinctively. However, I only catch the leg. I don't do any painful kicks with it. But yeah, only kicks I do is try to walk away with the leg. Hey! Any <laughs> Boss, we were just leaving. Hello, huh? <laughs> and it was just getting interesting, too. Winston, my old friend. So good to see you. How's your family, huh? What do you want, dog eyes? Oh, Winston, wait, wait, wait. Brother, I just came to talk to you, man. For old time's sake. Let's work something out here, okay? We can share the night market, huh? We're both Song Ong Yi, both grown men. We shouldn't be fighting like children. <laughs> hey, who's the new blood? It's Wei. You remember Mimi Shen? Back when you first started getting girls with Big Smiley? Oh, Mimi. Oh, yeah. First girl ever sucked my cock. <laughs> yeah, so what? Wei's your brother. And I was the first guy who ever stabbed you. You remember me now? Whoa, 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 Wei. What the fuck, man? Seriously, Wei. I apologize. I'm really sorry your sister blew me. <laughs> the night market is mine, dog eyes. You got Siwa in the warehouse. That was the deal. So stay the fuck out. Hey, tell your sister give me a call, huh? I wouldn't mind giving her a mouthful. <laughs> he hasn't changed. Yeah, he has. He used to be my friend. Jackie! You do go to the night market. You make sure people understand that I'm in control, not dog eyes. Got it? Got it, boss. Moment high. And you fuck up anybody who tries to get in your way. I want to send a fucking message. This will be easy. Oh. No problem. You just have to be strong. That's what people respect. Okay, as I was going to say, you know, you kicks, your sister back if you manage to land them, yeah, uh, they, they do quite, years ago uh, now. <laughs> they to the stage, put off she quite a hurting. That, that sucks! She was, you know, really alive! My mother thought maybe a new city, new country, but the hooks went deep. And once you start on that shit, it's hard to stop. For anybody. Yeah, once she started. Oh man, and it was dog eyes that got her into it? Yep. Fucking dog eyes. Uh, you gonna tell Winston? No. You? Shit, Wade. Winston's the boss. When we were kids, you were the only person who was nice to me. You were my best friend, man. That means more than a boss, you know? Being a bit chatty. Okay, as I was saying, uh, kicks, if you manage to land them, can put quite a hurting on somebody, but they're also high risk because if someone grabs your leg, uh, yeah, they can fuck with you a lot. Yeah, and I can grab the people's legs. But most of them, they were playing with me, but I just kept grabbing them, even with a set of surprise one. I just grabbed them and walked away with them, with them both in a long leg off me. Okay, we were likely supposed to be moving during all of that chatter. <laughs> but yeah, so far this is sort of seeming like a yeah, GTA but Hong Kong. And yeah. a deeper combat system. Dragon Chief. Yeah. It seems a bit better made than the uh, GTA, you know what I'm saying? So we get upgrades to soda. Yeah, come on, Jackie, don't be an asshole. Very busy, but then again, from what I know, Hong Kong is pretty busy. 
Uh, uh, yeah, you said that... Uh, I just noticed that I forgot one thing with the stream. Oh? Uh, just a minor thing, I forgot to put something on the door, but it doesn't seem that anyone's interested in visiting anyways. Uh, but yeah, you... You told me before that uh, you weren't really interested in uh, yeah, GTA-like games where you played a, a villain mostly. Or anti-hero, anti-villain, that sort of thing. So if, if we do stream this, there, there's no need for you to stick around with that. It is more of, I don't like when you play games where you're a hardcore criminal. Okay, so this might no. slip through the fingers. Yeah, this is on the cold cup, but hey, oh, there are also other exceptions like, uh, let uh, let's see, Dungeons and the Evil Genius. For those are a bit more set satire, a bit more yeah. comical. But games like GTA, where you just, uh, something about GTA just gives me a headache. I understand. How can I help? Winston runs this place, and if you don't want trouble, you pay him. Period. Of course, no problem. Need anything? Just come ask. Okay. Uh, oh, there he is. I was asking where Jack was running off to. Needs some basic foods. Briefly allows full health regeneration. Okay. Okay. That 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 all does look tasty. Street food can be quite a, a mixed thing from time to time, but sometimes you can find very good uh, street food. We are I'm getting hungry. <laughs> hey, you want to do the talking? We're collecting for Winston. Winston? Don't I said he's in charge here. We're here to clarify that. What? You want to be the guy we use to clear up the confusion? I'm not afraid, you guys. Be a tough guy. <laughs> Phone call. <laughs> okay, what is with this? Okay, okay just a healing uh, a spot to heal up. I'm glad I can make you see reason. Take the money. Doc, I won't be happy. Okay. Try admission score. Violent actions against Dude. enemies increases your score. I think okay. You He'll be fine. He'll just have to drink through a straw for a while. Over here. I think this guy's with dog eyes. Dragon kick. Sounds good. Oops. Oh, okay. I see now. Up the upper. Yeah, in the upper right, there's a bar. F yeah. Okay. It's a temporary boost. Okay, not permanent. That that would be a bit too easy. We work for Winston. We need to discuss business. Winston? I don't have any business with Winston. Everyone has business with Winston. You're gonna pay up, you understand? Go tell Winston to stick a back toy up his ass. Hey, fellas! These troops are moving in on your territory. <laughs> okay, walk on with right mouse, switch with middle. He's down, and then we have this one here. Uh -oh. Okay, I did not try for that. <laughs> he did that automatically. So did you have a message for Winston? He's obviously better than dog eyes. Please give him this payment from me. Okay. I think we're almost done, but let's check over there. See, Nita regenerates halfway while out of combat by food. Okay, that that is nice. That yeah, it lets you regenerate for free to the half. Okay, that wasn't intended. Hello, 
And yeah, part of, well, getting protection money also means having to protect people when they are getting attacked. And I get the feeling we might be able to stick one of these. No, we can't stick them in the freaking grill. Come on. Oh, he jumped back up. Bad idea for him. Okay, I, I am liking the combat system a lot. It is very similar to the Arkham games. But then again, uh, a lot of games went to copy Arkham Asylum system because it was just uh, so good. Why was he beating you? He was demanding 20 times the normal payment. Maybe he has a drug habit or something. For a small fee, Winston will make sure you don't have trouble with gangsters. That sounds very reasonable. Hey, no one, no one, man. We need to get you outfitted. Over here, people need to know you're yeah, there part he of is. us. We got an image to maintain. Only the best brands. People got to be successful. Clothes make the man, huh? Definitely. It's all about the clothes, man. You know how it is. People judge you by how you look. Hmm. Yeah, as bad as organized crime is, in some regions there is a bit of a paradox going on in that the organized criminals with protection rackets manage to keep down the more violent crimes. Because, yeah, violent crime tends to attract police attention, and police attention tends to, well, get them into trouble. Let's see. These are the latest. Perfect for you. Minor thug bonus sets. Wear the shoes, uh, pants, and shirts. You plus five from Ailey Bonus Dance. Okay. Let's get that then. Excellent. Ooh. <laughs> Counterfeit J Jiggler crack pants. <laughs> Wear these and they will see you coming. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Come again. And some Can shoes. I interest you in some better clothes? Thanks. Come again. Okay. Have a nice day. Let's get back to Winston. Okay. I hope I didn't just accidentally spend some of the collection money. Hey, you want that little oh, little I hope not. Oh, that thing is awkward. Teen, teen, teen. It's like you were born to do this. Hey, Jackie. So, hey, what's going on? Just keeping an eye on things. Yeah? What'd you see? I tell you what I didn't see. Nothing to be impressed about. I'm watching you, new guy. You fuck up? What? We're gonna throw down? <laughs> what kind of grade school shit is this, huh? I work my ass off all day, so fuck off and grow up. Jackie! You're coming with me. We got something to take care of. And you! Don't fuck with me. Let's see, Cop and Triad scoring. Cop and Triad scores award you with experience towards your next level, gain levels to purchase new upgrades. Okay. So. That could get interesting. There will probably be diverging parts in the story, possibly. Or at least make things easier with one faction or another. Yeah, I can see how strange these games just, yeah, again, they are on the car. Yeah, and it is running smoothly now. I might have to, I might check a bit more detailed in the displays here. It's always nice when a game has just overall graphic uh, level sliders or selectors, however you call it specifically, and also has advanced ones here. Holy! Yeah. But we are at the mark again. So yeah, th th this one it. A lot of these game, a lot of these games tend to go on for quite a while. So that might be a slight issue, but. I definitely say put this. Uh, we're putting this one on the two stream list.
Yeah, well, at least uh, maybe, uh, like, we should probably investigate how long it is to begin with. Yeah. Like, if it's unnecessarily long, then it could be removed from the list. But if not, it could stay. Yeah, if, if it's very long, we could make it, we could record it off stream and upload to YouTube that way. Just cut out a lot of the chaff, so to speak. Now, let's see with this one. Okay, start it up. Also, I've changed the thing with OBS this time. I've added uh, four new uh, inputs. One for uh, <clears throat> one for each of the possible four games we might be doing on Sundays and such. So I can pre preset those to record one game each and then just have them layered over so that I don't have to change things around too much and I say that and this one specifically doesn't get captured it seems okay I'll just set this one in weird I, I'm pretty sure I tested this out full screen it oh I, I see already here I this one this one does get captured on full screen but I had to change that because uh, to uh, orcs must die okay <laughs> I'll just... There we go. Should be capturing any second now. Stream to the tier. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I might be able to run a program to capture my screen in general and share that to the tier. That would help save up on having to share it each and every time. And NVIDIA Broadcast wasn't too happy there for some reason. Overall, it seems to work well, but it seems to have issues at times when I'm moving more. Hmm. Oh well. Anyways, the third game today, Sniper Elite 4. And yeah, the 4 already says that this is one in a bit of a series. And one of these quite liked. In part, as far as I know, for its zombie modes. Because they get really freaking... Uh, they're not extremely crazy, but they get fun crazy with it. Maybe it gets a summer mode. So I think one of them actually recently this software really failed at that summer mode. Uh, Vanguard maybe? Boring. Wait, what? Vanguard maybe? Uh, what, 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 might be Vanguard where they actually failed at this summer mode in making it boring. Which, Let's be honest. You find it hard to make zombie mode boring. Actually, I, I think that has been vanguards, but like both of the uh, recent uh, Call of Duties and Battlefields have been absolute failures from what all I've been hearing. I, I haven't really touched most of the series you know, of those two franchises since, uh, let's see. Modern Warfare 2 with Call of Duty and Bad Company 2 with Battlefield. Not really due to a lack of interest, but more just busy with other games as well, and already having so many freaking ones to go through already. For me, it's been of lack of interest. I have played one of them in, in years ago with an ex-friend, but I was more forced to play it. Okay starting the timer now and I do li I like this when difficulties in games are more than just multipliers on damage and such here a cadet for a light challenge no bullet ballistics so basically it travels in a straight line marksman for a fair challenge simplified bullet ballistics unforgiving enemies sniper elite prepare for a tough fight realistic bullet ballistics deadly enemies friendly fire is turned on and we have authentic for <laughs> only for sniping pur purists and masochists are welcome. <laughs> and then you have even on top of that Authentic Plus, the toughest fight a sniper can face. And custom difficulty. Custom difficulties are always uh, nice to have in games. But for now, let's start with the normal one. Uh, let's see. For number one post, T post. Why do. Uh, let's go with this one. T post! Yeah. What is a T post? But I'm pretty sure you don't have anyone in T-Post. 
Yeah, if a character is in a T-pose in the game, that's typically a sign that something is going wrong. Well, let's see. Sensely, no island, campaign, binoculars, tag enemies and objects will show off. 1943. A world at war. A world in turmoil. We'd close the trap on Hitler's North Africa campaign. But what next? Churchill urged an allied invasion of Italy. Call the Mediterranean the soft underbelly of the crocodile. The Americans took some convincing, but Winston won them over. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, Allied Commander-in-Chief, is masterminding the entire Mediterranean strategy. As for me, I'm headed for San Salini, a secluded island to Italy's southwest. been losing ships in the area. British intelligence thinks the Luftwaffe's presence on Sansolini might explain why. The Royal Navy dispatched a captured Italian freighter, the Orchidia, to investigate. She was equipped with the very latest radio interception equipment. The intelligence she gathered confirmed our worst fears. The Nazis have a new wonder weapon. Survivors from the destroyed ships have talked about a new kind of missile. Radio controlled from the plane that launched them. These rockets can track our ships with lethal accuracy. The Orchidia's job was to monitor Luftwaffe radio transmissions and find out what the Germans are up to. Even if that meant making the ultimate sacrifice. to know what the Nazis are planning, and how we can stop them. A member of the Luftwaffe's top brass is on the island, General Tobias Schmidt. It's no secret Hitler thinks highly of him. Schmidt would never let himself be taken alive, and he'd never betray his beloved Fuhrer. But he might just be carrying some information we can use. My mission? Kill Schmidt. Kill all high-ranking officers and get the hell out. Need to make sure those men didn't die in vain. Need to find out all I can about the new rocket. Okay, first stop, options, display, let's see, graphic details, let's put that on, let's put it on high for the moment, and is that going to 46 frames, let's, let's put it to medium, some changes will only apply to restart, okay, that, those can be annoying at times. Since those are typically the big one that have an effect, and okay, I thought the game had fully crashed there. Same here. And I see this are one of the games where some uh, artistic liberty is in the uh, game. I could take this fellow down without making a noise. Yeah, you you kind of have to with uh, World War II games from a certain point, because there's only so. Oh. Ow. <laughs> B for monoculars. Yeah, I, I understand what you mean. Let's see. There is not to feel like in the big comic corner that it's it's a uh, but by trying to avoid it, they also basically made a trope of uh, secret weapons. Yeah. Not, uh, not this this one is a lot more so semi-realistic than some in other games. Let's see. Q to select arrival. 
Dude, I think I don't usually enjoy those that end a bit more paranormal and such. Holding my breath will steady my shot. Again, my favorite to I like the idea of it when the uh, Nazis mess up with something that uh, inhuman and piss it off. Nicely does it. There's a fun. Because of the, uh, a lot of games going with the, the Nazis going into the occult, many people think that Hitler and such were into the occult, but apparently, actually, he just oh, <laughs> hated it. Yeah, I recall that. Which I, I think kind of makes it funny, funnier because yeah, he hated it so much, but. Uh, <laughs> Most you know, a lot of people remember him as being an occultist, <laughs> that being something that he specifically hated. Yeah, but I wonder what, why. But there must be something that led to it. Yeah, probably because it just gives so many options. Uh, those bodies for ammo. Uh, it's, it, going into a cult with uh, things gives a lot more options in game stories and such and what will happen and yeah, yeah it, it's basically a, a giant multiplier you can apply to a game so i feel like this is something to it for ain't the actual report where he actually tried to look for a holy lance i'm harder to see in uh, foliage that is... and in shadow but that that is less of the occult and more uh, biblical mythology. Yeah, and no. that they were they were searching for the um, spear of destiny, I think it's called, which supposedly was the spear that Jesus was uh, stabbed with while on the cross. Yeah, it's... and I suspect he didn't think it was magical, but just owning it. Would be a, quite a uh, status sign. Yeah, let's see. Propaganda cameras, okay. Hmm. That tower Killed looks Nazi like a good vantage point. And yeah, as, is, as the title already made pretty clear, this game is all about sniping. <laughs> and, oh, hello there. Sniper reports, Ubergewetter, Overfighter, Eric Hossenfield. Oh, current 98. Oh, this is nice that they show a. Comp Wait, does it not? Hold on. Oh, is some. <clears throat> no, that is. I think some. Yeah, something is a bit. I only just noticed that something is off. On the recording and somehow something else got selected whilst i meant to grab this uh yeah obs was not getting the full picture the heck is going on with this uh yeah it the, for some reason the it was oversized so now the stream is getting the full picture uh yeah sorry about that <laughs> okay note to self for every something sunday put all of the games into the new uh, recording, uh, record, <clears throat> recording inputs to just be sure about everything. Oh, hello. Yeah, to I not have noticed, graphical errors like that. Yeah, I just noticed one small critique about this game. And that is, when you pick up ammo, don't make it sound like you're being shot. It's... What's with the camera? Lots of environmental stuff that we could screw around with. Or more accurately, blow up. Let's see. Oh dear. Truck. One, two. I, I like that it highlights the parts that we could you know, shoot to mess with it. That would prob Shooting there would probably disable the engine and make it inoperable. That, well, Shooting a gas tank is pretty obvious what that would do. Let's see. This place is one big propaganda effort, with the Orchidia center stage. 
Okay, that's going to be a very easy one to get rid of. But also a very... Also a very loud one. Let's see, any more targets that we can see? Yeah, this game is going to be a rather choppy. Actually, let's do one more thing here and just lower it as low as it can go. See how much that will help. Or that'll probably help the, at the most with the frame rate that po is possible without restarting. Okay, 50 frame, 45 frames is still better than 40 and lower. No, it doesn't seem that we'll be able to see anything. Uh, still a bit more that we could see. Yeah, it's a sniper game, so long, very long distances should have been expected. There's more over there, another truck. But for now, uh, this guy has a date with Destiny. It's. Oh, well. Triangulation. Noises and non-lethal shots can help the enemy triangulate your location. If this happens too much in the same location or if the enemy gets a visual confirmation, it'll result in full triangulation. Guaranteed threat. Before this, suspected threats appear on, a, uh, on the radar as a triangle, wherein a ghost image will appear in the environment, indicating the enemy's knowledge of your last known position. Useful tool showing you the direction the enemy will be moving to. Loud gun shots close to an enemy have more effect on triangulation than those far and far away. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> and that was a brutal burn. Yeah, that's another thing that this series is known for. <laughs> Just the x-rays. Yeah, Mortal Kombat eat your heart out. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Let's see. There's those two over there. <laughs> Just a continued chain reaction. Let's see. <laughs> oh, ow. Oh! <laughs> Did you seriously do a bullseye? And I do a it took out his freaking eye. Oh, and we have a, an unmarked one over there. Okay, probably best to... Uh, let's take one more shot. I will say this again. I'm actually impressed by you at the moment. You know, did I got him in the freaking eye? Yeah! Like, that's not an issue shot. Wait, were you aiming for the eye? No. And they... Yep. Okay, they figure out where we are, so time to move. So we can take about two shots from his position before they figure out where we are. What's this about stance? Well, says I, I know a sniper in real life. They would shoot once, then move away and would take another shot. Yeah. Okay, I... I should, of course, lead my shots. Oh. Hello, and goodbye. Okay, I think there was someone here that we didn't mark. Because, like, there we go. Yeah. What a headshot! There we go. Oh, another, another one. Okay. Oh, up. Uh, uh, I think you blow out the frames. Yeah. Oop. Oh, <laughs> gone into oh. his fucking jaw. Oh. Get shot. Uh, yeah, sit still. 
Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Load. And in all of this, I actually forgot that car 98 and to compare against that. Okay. Well, yeah, we stung the hornet's nest. So, the survivors do know that we are around. There they are. Okay, let them move up a bit. Actually, that will be a good second spot to shoot from. Oh, oh okay, there are some guys here that we didn't get the sight on. Oh. Hmm. Heart rates. Pressing the return. This. Re no, that's in. Which button are you, you freaking want me to use? Okay, he is going to spot us. He is looking away. We're out in the open here, if those either of those turns around and spots us. Okay. Over, can we... Yeah. I can't climb over that, even though it's like five centimeters higher than the rest. And granate. I'm assuming that's an autosave. I got okay. uh, Pick up body. And... Actually... Have a swim. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Got another car 98. A lot more recoil dampening. A bit less rate of fire. Uh, let's stick with what we have at the moment. And I. Th yeah, he is coming back to the gate. So we have to take a position here. Oh! That, the marker at the top. That's, that's signifying that. Uh, it's be your shots would get drowned out, I presume. Okay. Let's, do we have we have a silence? Yeah, we have a suppressed pistol. So once these two jack boots are looking away from each other, I can take them out with this. We have two more up that way. Hmm. I did the start a timer earlier, right? Yes, I did. Just double checking. I'm pretty sure getting shot in the neck should kill as well. I should have taken a better shot at with the first one. What? Right, what did you do? Grab the cannon and crash them. I very much doubt that our character would be strong enough for that. Uh, yeah. Okay, then. And yeah, we, I should have noticed the, the plane going overhead earlier and using that to silence shots. Well, I'm not really silent shots, but frowned him out. If that is a key mechanic, I'd be impressed. Do we have any... We have a Thompson machine gun. We have 
Rocks for distractions. Okay, that's all. <laughs> and that's nice. Trip mine, S mine. Whatever that means. Stick grenade. Yeah, let, let's stick it to him. Let's see. Service racket, is it in here? Maybe? No. Where do I see... Uh, no, that's delete. Which is the return button? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, of course. Of course, that's going to be very short range. What the heck is that? A flare gun? Hmm. Uh, can I go prone? He got a glimpse, but didn't spot. Okay then. Now where's number Oh, there. You could have flanked me. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, anything useful on you? Probably should have searched the guy that I threw up the freaking cliff. <laughs> FNMB. It's a car again. Yeah, okay. Let's just get back up here. See about scouting some more. And maybe taking some shots that will be drowned out. Let's see. Warehouse, we've already gotten a look at that from a different... Hello there. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we can still tag him. And we can get some info on them. Conrad Ratting, veteran of Ukraine. Okay. Oh, and there was another guy running past him. Let's see. Oh, that's them searching our last location. I think. Actually, no, that's further up that way. Oh. I thought you were being sneaky, huh? Enrique. Yeah. Probably better if I do this with this. And ruined it by missing the shot, missing a lethal shot. Hard shot. Okay. <laughs> Whilst he was doing a roll or something. Okay. Yep. There's more that way. He isn't alerted. Anyone else we can spot from here? We'll take one more shot. Yep. Yeah, there. And then we'll move on again. Because each time our position has been compromised. Yeah, hopefully this game will run a lot better in later streams. If we, yeah, if we manage to lower things enough. Adjusting for range. Yeah, again, what is the freaking return button? Okay. Those two are in hiding because they have a feeling we are in this direction. So we could try and take a shot at one of these. But one of them is hidden. So is there really nobody else near or somewhere? Okay, I'll take a shot at that guy the next time the... Never mind. I... Oh, hello there. Oh, 
and it's another jawbreaker. Okay, moving. Do you want to title us Hillian the Jawbreaker? Okay, see if we can snatch up some extra supplies as we move. Uh, oh, that's our heart rate next to the uh, lower uh, right corner. Okay. Not the best position here. We also have a wall to deal with. And I'm not sure if this game is well with penetrative power of our rounds. What does that mean? Does that mean that he's... Well, he found his dead comrade right next to him. <laughs> Saw his fucking jaw blown, get blown off. <laughs> okay. Just give him a full-on heart attack. Let's so we should add the title of you, Heartbreaker? No need for anything. Don't think that'll that'll do much on them trying to triangulate us because well the only one who could have gotten any inkling to where we were is now we are dead over <laughs> dead over a fence there. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Tagged? What does that mean? Okay. They are trying to triangulate us now from this spot. Let's see. Only those two are nearby, I think. There is also that one there, but he's playing behind a hill. So he is no issue to us yet. Let's see, where on the map are we? Let's see, man, kill Nazi, kill Nazi, kill Nazi, kill... Okay, destroy camera. Okay. Kill them all. Well, I'll be taking whatever you have. SMG ammo. Okay, what have we here? Some caves. And an area we haven't had any sight on before. So we should be careful here. And we have those two. And we can probably take them out with the silenced pistol. Let's see. Yeah, they're far apart enough. Yeah. We, seriously, you can't climb over a stick fence. And that's the timer. So I'll tell that to shut up for a bit. Okay, hold. Feel. I'm pretty sure you they should be able to hear the clang of the bullet hitting the metal helmet. Yeah. <laughs> Corpse marker. I'm guessing tag might mean that you've had them in your sights for a bit already. Hmm. And there's two up there that we haven't found. Um, we haven't tagged before. Uh, tagged, of course. It means that we had them tagged before. With the binoculars. Okay. Uh, let's just take the you know, these two out here. Take a look around. Take out any other possible targets. And then we'll call it with this one. Right. Let's... Hello. Want to buy some uh, cookies? He's distracted. 
Just in case, because enemies have a habit of turning around just as I'm trying to get them. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not how a lobotomy is performed, but... <laughs> he had that coming. He threw a half eat up and rode around. Okay, or he's going to spy his friend, friend probably. probably. Oh, why? Oh, he's no. Oh! Okay. What's that right in the ear? Probably. Uh, back to this thing. Let's see. <laughs> A tractor. Don't think that'll have much military value. Okay. I had not expected such a big ass map right at the start. Let's see. Probably I technically should be hanging around more on these spots to get more wandering enemies instead of just getting a sneak, uh, a, a snapshot of all the targets that are in sight. Uh, yeah, we, we are dealing with a time limit. Okay. Oh, there is someone. There is two someones, actually. Okay. Not too much of a zoom on this thing. Okay, let's try and get at least one kill whilst the planes are overhead. Oh, that's not the planes I'm hearing, that's this I'm hearing. Let's see, sound, sound mask. Okay, oh, that... That's making a lot more noise now. And we... Okay, we both ha have both targets there still. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Rank B. Where the heck do you hit him? In the throat? Yeah. Sit still. And I I think I just took out both of his eyes. Okay, one more for the road home. And uh, oh, I was not expecting that to hit actually. Yes, yeah. Bullets still have travel time. Uh, yeah, you often have to lead targets a bit depending on their speed, but I guess that one was going slow enough. And, oh, hello there. Can we get some penetration on this one? Uh oh. Nope. Okay, I saw that it would go through the little wall. <laughs> But apparently went just over it. And there's another target. Very long shot. That is probably a miss. Because of the sheer range. Yep, that was a miss. And... I can see movement still. Oh yeah, now that place is alerted. From <laughs> almost half a kilometer away. This guy is a goner. <laughs> right between the eyes. Oh, we have some targets over that way. Yeah, yeah. Let's just keep firing until we we get spotted. Or... That was a miss. Yeah, just because it turns red doesn't mean it's actually going to land a kill. Because they are still moving. Or this one won't be. Oh. <laughs> that went just over the ledge. Your business, your end, man. Okay. Now these guys are going to get a jump scare. Mm. That's a that's a non-lethal. I can miss. 
You are very freaking lucky to get missed twice and get to the end now. Sweet you and yours! Hello. Do you have a lot of un an unpanned rage you haven't told me about? Yeah, they're starting to triangulate us. Uh, let's do one more shot. Actually... No. Oh, he hello, actually. He should be standing underneath that, so... That yeah, was a miss. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure he was standing underneath that, but apparently that missed. Or is that because there's something in the way? Okay, last one. Why is that not... Is that because of the, the little branch in the way? I think. Okay. Can I get a... Time. Someone was getting a uh, view. Yeah, why? How? Okay, why was it aiming that low? Okay, enough though now. This this game could be fun, but it but it likely also be very slow. And long, possibly as well. Yeah, another one we'll have to check the time uh, on. So let's move on to the next game. And the last one. <clears throat> Sega. Um, okay, just turn this back to full screen capture and that should capture this game as well. Share to the tier. And this is going to capture. How it should, it did on testing. There we go. Yeah, welcome to Sonic Generations. Um, okay. Controls might be a bit... Oh, I forgot to turn on my controller, so now it wants to use the keyboard controls. Uh, uh, it's taking everything as... Okay, I need to re... <laughs> I'm going to need to restart this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this game, you, you just... Pretty much need a controller for uh, the, yeah i don't know what it is it, it is a pc port from the oh, consoles yeah. and oh. often you can get some problems with that but for for some reason this version just seems to get really freaky when you <laughs> don't have a controller uh yeah sonic generations i'm pretty sure this game was released on the 20th anniversary of the sonic so in uh 20 2011 should be. I, I should know because, yeah, I was born in the year that Sonic came out. Oh dear, you poor thing. And that stop was to yeah, stream with Sudrik here again. Yeah, definitely after this, I'm going to look into some program to just screen share. And uh, no need for me to stay hidden during this, but yeah, this it starts you off right in yeah, green hole zone with <laughs> classic Sonic. So yeah, let's just get through this. It, Gotta say, yeah, even if I this game it. is ten years old, it still it still looks really great, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, I think I, I recall playing a bit of the older Sonic on PC. Okay, I wouldn't call myself a hardcore Sonic fan because. For a lot of people that also have some very negative annotations because of certain aspects of the fandom. But uh, it's definitely a series I like. Because and not just because it it started in the same year that I was born. Well, for me, as a kid I disliked it due to the there was a very bad Sonic cartoon series that was just cringe. Uh, which one would it's that been... be? 
Oh, well, there was Robotnik, some Bruno guy, and a robot chicken. Oh, that's the. That is one of. I think perhaps the original uh, Sonic animated show. I don't actually know if it has a specific title. Actually, yeah. there was two different uh, different shows released yeah, right after each other. Uh, and the one I saw the, was the, the horrible one. They, they started airing the good one in Sweden as well, later. But they ended it when I had to go to school. And that one I actually felt like I might actually enjoy this. Hello. And extra speedy. <laughs> and of course the music goes extra speedy as well. Uh, I should of course remember to start the freaking timer. But my otherwise expression of Sonic before the series was very neutral. I sort of bought respect for him as a franchise, but I've never been a fan. But I've never not been a hater either, though. Just a bit neutral, respectful. Okay. Party or something? Bad voice. Surprise! Ah, you guys. It's kind of impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. I like it! I love it! Who's dead? Uh, where am I? And yeah, that's how it starts with all of Sonic's friends or a bunch of Sonic's friends uh, oh, getting dear. kidnapped by something. Oh god. Actually, I just remember, I've, I've seen bits and pieces of this Sonic anime, and that one seemed alright as well. Okay, first time I've heard of a Sonic anime, though I guess I shouldn't be surprised that there is one. I will tell you this, all the characters are seen here now are from the anime. Yeah, they're from the games first, I'm pretty sure, I'd say. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Oh, oh god, now I'm sure. I think the anime came first. Hmm. We have to check then sometime. Yeah, we, we have to double check that sometime. Not being case, but I don't talk myself at the moment. But uh, then we go yeah. back. Yeah, continue on. Oh. <laughs> We're both too polite for each other. Right. I go down, dude. I think I recall a 
we packed the land of one of the characters in the in the series. The what can it be? I'm bad. Hmm? Uh, oh fuck! Don't you remember her name? Uh, Rouge. Rouge the best. She's supposed to be sexy one. Yeah, that's Rouge. <laughs> In America, they uh, removed her cleavage. Yeah. But later on, she, she kept it on. And uh, for some reason, I was trying to amuse me. Like, of course they did that. Of course. Oh, uh, hello. That's a big one. <laughs> uh, you. You miss me. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that, this this all goes to show what it'll be the big difference. Yeah. Uh, I can heal himself, Echo. Uh, the big difference between the classic and modern Sonic. As uh, classic Sonic will uh, plays with a lot more 2D stuff, while modern Sonic will go into 2D at points, but will also have 3D sections, like here. Yeah, and then. This cook was not like this. It's heavy total keeping up. Okay, uh, but on the on Sonic's friends and such, so some people say that uh, the series has too many characters. But personally, I have little trouble uh, with that. Uh, well, some people also say that they find a lot of them just annoying. Uh, maybe I just have a tolerance because of I'm more familiar with or, or I know the series longer, but I don't. I typically don't have much of an issue with m the characters, or at least most. I, I rarely have issues with this mainly characters. I think there's been maybe one, two where I felt like there are too many characters, but I don't remember which ones. Hmm. Probably. Yeah, I think, I think it's, uh, the times I had problems with anti meta characters is when they show can't keep up their them themselves and mix up their own characters' names all the time or something. Yeah. Thanks, Sonic. I thought I was dead. Floating without a body in a black limbo. <sighs> I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. Is it me? Or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me. But this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. Well, no stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey, Sonic, I saw something over there in the distance. Like buildings, but they look weird. That might be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. <laughs> All right, the first one was basically. Oh, was he mute or? Uh, yeah. You can now switch between the two Sonics, press Y to switch and use both to explore the world. Yeah, I think most, if. All, if not most, of these levels should have a classic and a modern version. Let's see, there's an act you haven't played yet. Yeah, I think I like the modern version more. Wow! We're going to S rank, Sonic. Not even my mecha can keep up with you. Uh, yeah, for each of these levels that we finish, like, we will be freeing one of our friends. So, yeah, let's go to this one. Let's see, about act. Switch Sonics between entering stage gates, uh, stage gates to access either Act 1 or Act 2. Act 1 lets you play side-scroller style stages with easy-to-learn classic Sonic controls. 
In Act 2 stages, you'll switch gameplay between side-scrolling 2D and 3D forward views. You can enjoy high-speed platforming gameplay in these stages. Okay, so um, we need to go through both of them. Can play in any order. Act 1 tends to be easier, though. Clear an act to proceed to the next stage. The path will sparkle until the path is cleared. And your stage is clear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I will blame Rom for this. For, I just imagine Doom Guy with uh, Sonic's gloves. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, all of the levels in this game are taken from the, the older games. This one specifically being Chemical Plant Zone. Um, I'm not actually sure. Sonic 2, maybe? I think I may play that one and hated it. Oop, oop, we missed the red ring there. Uh, yeah, each ring has a certain amount of those red rings. Uh, though what they are specifically for, I don't remember. Ow. And yeah, as is typical with any Sonic game, you get hit, you drop your rings, you get hit when you have no rings, and game over. Oh well, life over. Oops, yep, wrong way. Uh, miss. Let's grab that one. Uh, yeah, I I have to say that I, I like this game quite a lot, so it and probably a good amount of other Sonic games will eventually get streamed. I'd be okay with it, as long as you do one with a proper story. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The first, oh, the first Sonic game that I ever played I think was Sonic R, actually, the racing game that, well, was not very well made, <laughs> to be completely yeah. honest about that. Oh, God. My first one played was, oh, bloody heck, it was probably around 98 or 97. Okay, yeah, people remember, I am older than Helium. Not by much, but I'm still older. <laughs> But yeah, as a kid, I don't think I enjoyed the Sonic games to do... Yeah, I am. Um, too speedy? Or more you were, I'm in other words, too slow? More I'm horrible with platformers. There's a thing I told you before. Even at the age of Nintendo 8-bit, I never got good cross for platforming. Uh, there have been a bit since I've played one fully, and so we'll have to see uh, if I've gotten rusty or not. Yeah, uh, I think my biggest problem with the platformer are the jumping. We're okay, gonna okay, want to be hate jumping platforms. This place is going to hell quite yeah, quick. Oh dear! Oh dear! Okay, I played quite a few Sonic games. Like so, like I said, Sonic R was probably my first. So yeah, you can re expect <laughs> probably ex see why I was pro very confused when first playing that. Um, and you blew it up. How do you feel? After that, I think Sonic Adventure DX on PC. I never played Sonic Adventure 2. Then Sonic Heroes. And from there, I'm unsure which I may or may not have played. Sonic! Tails! This chemical plant feels familiar. I'd never forget a smell like this. And that pink water makes me really nervous for some reason. You're right, Tails. This place has given me deja vu all over again. And there, Amy is starting to be freed, or do I need to finish both uh, acts to free her? 
makes sense. Let's see. You got a red star ring. Your co item collection will grow as you collect red. Uh, to see your new items had left to go to your collection room. Okay. We got some artwork. And yeah, it seems that we do need to take classic Sonic for a spin here as well. So let's get started on that. Yeah, chemical plant zone. What the? That was Omachow, I'm pretty sure. Do you hear it? Hmm? Uh, I Someone... didn't hear anything specific. Someone just fired a rocket. Okay, I must have missed that, or... Hmm. Firework is specific. No, I don't mean a missed time, just a firework. Okay, yeah, I'm, I, that got missed. Yeah. Do you probably hear the hit? Yeah, do you hear the react to it? Hmm. I did not expect that. One thing yeah, I, am, I am noticing is that the volume of this game seems to be a bit lower than others that we have played. Hmm. It sounds just fine to me. Yeah, on OBS it's... It, the volume levels are a bit low, seemingly. How that might turn out on the stream, I'm not actually sure. I'm, I may need to look at putting up the, a compensator filter as well on there. To to have the music to yeah, have the volume of sound on games you know, bal try and balance itself out uh, somewhat to a certain level no matter how soft or loud it is and is that the I'm not sure okay th this is four words I hope well you got the, the voice actor for Sonic is damn mm -hmm. familiar to me Can't say I've no, uh, I'd recognize him from anything. I was a happy little thing. I would say, ain't that the next thing? Voice actor, the one uh, for, well, Spidey from Spectacular Spider Man? Um, I think that's G Dave Keaton or something. I'm unsure. I, I looked up the voice actor after we watched that series. But. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank now. I, I, my memory with names is absolutely horrid. Yeah, the, I know the Sonic's voice actor is one I heard so many times. And we'll look Same it up after this. Yeah, do I have to say this? Tails, I hate almost. Oh dear. Run. Thank you, Sonic. Wow, you look younger every day. What's your secret? Sonic! I'm not sure if they actually give a different thing depending on which Sonic you finish the second uh, mission with. <laughs> or which Sonic's mission you do second. I'll, we might have to check that out sometime. I gotta say, just be careful. I'm not some watch real Sonic, but I heard enough that... Well, thanks to YouTube, a mention of her... Have a habit of bashing people with a hammer. <laughs> yeah, Amy... Amy can be a bit divisive to some uh, fans, to my knowledge. Let's see. Oh, I just knew you'd come for me, Sonic. You're my hero. <laughs> and there we have Omachow. Uh, when you clear a stage, you'll earn points based on the rank you earn. These points can be traded for skills that'll help you out. Stop by the skills shop uh, going uh, to the far left of Green Hill. Okay. I don't remember anything about skills in this game. You're going on S rank. You've always been the best. Okay. Let's try one more uh, with Knuckles, and then the, the classic quartet will be finished. Let's try. Yeah, let's try finishing the modern stage second here. Okay. Knuckles, I heard of mostly by name. I but I barely know anything about Knuckles. 
the only thing I think I know of him is his brother. Thick headed? Yeah, he is. He is rather stubborn, and I recall something with those clouds. Well, I recall things on YouTube of uh, Roche luring into a classic play doing some very obvious innuendos, and he was way too thick to understand what they were just to brawl in there with a the fist. And yeah. That's my expression of him, rather poor, and he is very thick stalled. In both a good and a bad way. <laughs> so it's probably also a bit unfair that it was to do a YouTube video about the uh, hidden in the sexual jokes in cartoons. I just watched it out of curiosity, and I did not expect Tommy to be on it. <laughs> so yeah, that, that took me a bit on the left field. Okay, okay just launch it straight up. Let's see, I'm not sure what game this level might be from. I, I think it is one uh, that each level is from a different game, but I might be wrong with that. And yeah, Green, like Green Hill Zone is in every freaking Sonic game. Oh, wait. I do reckon... Wait. Is this from the show where Sonic actually was, was good? Yeah, there's no levels from any TV show with this, though. Uh, I guess... The, the, if I see a black robot with UFO-shaped head that looks... Act surprisingly grim? That is for the TV show. Yep, I'm pretty sure we won't find any references to that here, or at least not any levels. Uh, okay, so, got a bit stuck for a second. And yeah, speed is... Speed is not always key with Sonic, like it was shown there where I went straight into a freaking pit. Uh, oh. Yep. Did you just quote Jack? Jack who? That guy? Not intentionally, at least. He just did. But he used to say speed is key, but he also can say speed is not always the key. I'm pretty sure that's a generic enough statement for it not to count as a quote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, I think he coined it. But, or rather, he may have popularized it, uh, if I have it. Almost fell in again. Yeah. Okay, the whole thing is coming down. And there we go. What the heck? I wonder. No point. From what, from what I heard from others, it seems that the only, the first Sonic that came out was just pure garbage. But at the same time, they did the, the, all the other ones good. Am I so right so far? I'm not sure if you could really say that the very first Sonic was a uh, uh, crap game. It might not have been as amazing as some people might think it might be today. Not, not the game, well. not the game. Not the game, I, I'm talking about the series. Okay. Um, that I wouldn't really be able to uh, say, because the first one I ever saw parts of was Sonic X. Which, while it has its uh, complaints uh, about, and, well, you could, <laughs> valid complaints you could make about that. Oop. It wasn't, it wasn't absolutely terrible. Sonic X? Wait, is that uh, that one with the Chaos Emeralds? Uh, which of the... Which of the Sonic shows is, does not have this Chaos Emeralds show up at some point? Uh, the very first one did not. Yeah, good point. No idea if there's... Here's the thing. They released two Sonic series in the same year. Okay. Just the first okay. one... 
I think what just by a few months earlier was a the best way to describe it a fever dream. Oh, that one. Uh, I think I know which one. I don't know if it has a specific name. But, ah, yeah, that one was uh, wacky, to say the least. Yeah, I'm sure how my little brother loved it, but again, he was, he was so young that he, he could easily love it. He was not so young, so he um, did not be aware how bad it was. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I learned this from, I think it was... Uh, Ah, it was kind of awesome. It was probably one of the few videos I did like, but it felt a bit more informative. And uh, yeah, I think he even showed you how I reacted uh, uh, just knowing, oh, both series were released in the same damn year. Okay. And yeah, Maybe we have one launch things again. The series that came after the battle was, almost... yeah, superior in almost every way. <laughs> okay, now that uh, he has probably pissed off like a third of the fan base. <laughs> Wait, it depends. I don't think anyone liked the very, very first one with the robot chicken. And not, I can't really, again, I can't really say because I'm not a hard and poor enough fan for that. I, I'm not poor for that. these things have their own fan bases, even within, you no know, larger franchise uh, fan bases. Oh, okay, well, you the turned it now. Huh? But the thing is, if I understand like most of the Sonic games have at least had some games based on them, but except just that one, yeah. I don't think there's been any game based on that one at all. Uh, yeah. Almost got hit. I, I think there is one thing, though, that uh, all Sonic fans, so uh, classic and modern, can agree on, that it is, and that is that uh, the Sonic Boom games suck. Sonic what now? The Sonic Boom. The oh, Sonic right. Boom show is actually quite good from all I've uh, heard and seen, but uh, the <laughs> games, no. I never heard of the Boom show, and I am. Um... Okay, that's going on to, the, to see Sonic what's game. last done. <laughs> oh dear. I guess there's uh, way, way more Sonic games and shows than I was way unaware of. Like, I wouldn't know three Sonic uh, series, and maybe have extremely few games. Thanks for the help. Not that I needed it, but it's good to have my sanctuary back. Hmm. What is this place? It's so white and creepy. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, it seems that no matter which Sonic you have, they don't give a vocal reaction at least. So it might just be slight animation differences. I have to ask, what the heck is Knuckles? Uh, Knuckles is an echidna. Uh, I think the closest description could be some sort of Armadillo without a shell and no, I. Oh. <laughs> uh, Google Speak was looking up echidnas. Okay. <laughs> or. I thought echidnas were more related to hedgehogs. That's, uh, Google, what are echidnas? Let's see. Okay, I just couldn't recognize that apparently. Uh, let's see. Challenge Act Gates have appeared. New challenges await you in each act. There are five challenges each in Acts 1 and 2 for a total of 10 challenges each. An icon is shown next to each Challenge Act Gate that shows what kind of challenge awaits you. Speed, Technique, Dubganger, Friends, Enemy, Item, 
ring juggle and rescue okay not sure what the juggle might be with that <laughs> and we got some more artwork and yeah I forgot that you could stand on the freaking title. <laughs> yeah. Is that what I think? Okay, why am I? It's because the game is automatically throwing us up here. Okay, what is this? This is a boss gate key. To get a key, a protective shield must be removed by clearing one of the challenge acts in either act one or two. Collect three to unlock the boss gate and summons the boss. Okay. Now, I was going to say the game, there is more to the game than just running through the old missions. And this, you know, it's Casino Night. Okay. okay, we can't progress until we got the keys, and that's the timers. So, yeah. Yeah, this game I like a lot. Uh, again, I wouldn't call myself like a hardcore Sonic fan, but I'm still a fan of the franchise in general. And yeah, this this game is just a love letter to both the old and modern Sonics. And I'm curious if if, hmm, if they would have. Uh, I'll have to look up if they uh, did something with the 30th anniversary. Hmm. So I'm oh, sure there was something for the 25th. Probably Sonic Mania. And yeah, this music, I believe, is already giving a hint as to what this boss is going to be. A clock? No, it is. Oh uh, yeah, for now, let's exit it here. Yes, we want to quit. And yeah, that'll have been something Sunday on Monday. What are your thoughts on everything, Vakir? Yeah, so far so good. I, I'd say Slade Aspire could be put on the long, long list of possible games for Saturday. Sleeping Dogs, we'll have to see out how long that might take with its story. Uh, Sniper Elite, maybe something for Saturday as well. Because with that, it's probably going to take like a two hours just to get through one mission. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing that entire series is probably more built for long plays. Yeah, and we should probably uh, investigate how long the game itself is. For if it's a bit too long, it might be to be too long for Saturdays. Yeah, we'll have to see. Sonic, and, yeah, I... Sonic Generations, uh, definitely yes. <laughs> Definitely yes. I, so I'm kind we get of curious on the Sonic uh, and nowadays. Nowadays, when I don't need to worry about what people judge me for uh, being curious about. Thank you. Uh, but before we get to this game, though, I'm thinking we should probably go through some of the old games as well. That's Similar to how idea. we're doing Dark uh, Siders and Dishonored at the moment. Though so this will be a lot longer than I'll have to find not. <laughs> A bunch of other games to weave in between. Yeah, we still have, even have Shantae and others. We, we could look at weaving those together, like Sonic and Shantae. Oh, you meant that way? I was wondering, what? Does he mean a crossover? <laughs> well, technically Shantae is in uh, the latest Super Smash Bros. game. And oh. Sonic is also is a playable character in that. Sadly, Shantae is only a spirit, which is basically an equipable buff. But uh, yeah, to have this series even acknowledge, be acknowledged by that is already quite an achievement, I'd say. I never played any of the Smash uh, Smash uh, games. <laughs> I don't think we'll be streaming those at any point, at least not for story, because. Uh, I'm not great with fighting games. At all. Uh, at the best, I think you, we <laughs> might actually stream it sometimes just to see, probably get yeah, my ass handed to me by someone else. But, yeah, for now, that will be off the list. And, yeah, also for now, 
uh, yeah, that'll be it for tonight. <laughs> yeah, we went a bit overtime. Uh, yeah, 30 minutes, but we had fun and that's what counts. Yeah. So, yeah, tomorrow we'll be continuing with... <clears throat> pardon? We'll be continuing with Dark Shadows 2, hopefully with it running better than it did last week. I did some things that should make it run better. Emphasis on should. But, yeah, other than that, nothing really much to add, I'd say. Yes, I'm here. Okay, then. Well, the usual, <laughs> then. Thank you anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. Um, yeah, already said what will be next tomorrow. So, until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for seagulls. <laughs>